Your world is getting small. This could be your world is getting small, or this could be just the world is getting small because people are dying or they're about to. This could be your ops world is getting small, but some, somebody's world is getting small or it feels like it's getting small. Let me get tarot on this. Straight, something's going to be straightened out. Something's going to have to be, hold on. Let me find out if straight means anything. Something's going to be made straight. It's going to have to be made straight. All right. Let's find out what that is. Tell me about this. Uh, I feel like somebody's spirit guides or the universe is going to straighten something out. I know what happened in my life when it got to the point where the universe had to straighten me the fuck out. Okay. <laughs> and, and it wasn't fun. So let's see. Tell me about this straight. Something's going to be made straight or straightened out for somebody. Disaster. Something turned into a disaster and it wasn't supposed to catch. They're gonna somebody's they're gonna catch somebody doing something. Capricorn. One, two, three. Something is gonna be made straight with a Capricorn, no doubt. Tell me about this Capricorn. Hmm. This could be a mother, an aunt, or a sister. <sighs> or this person is going to straighten something out. It could, it could be that a Capricorn is going to wind up straightening something out. Tell me about this. You may never see your family again cutting cords. So this is either you, Capricorn, or this, this could, you know, put it how it fits. You could be a Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, and you, you could have a YouTube channel. You may never see your family again because maybe they didn't straighten something out by now. Or this may not be all of your family. Yeah, soul is being. There's definitely a Capricorn female in someone's family that has no soul. They may, they may be getting cut off from something. Your family may be cutting this person off. Tell me about this. Yeah, death. Uh oh. Scorpio, something's going to be made straight with a Scorpio as well. George, something's going to be made straight with George. <clears> that <throat> this something that be may be made straight may be actually some people losing their life here. Get inventive over here yeah because i feel like something's turning into a disaster because of something not being made straight like it should have been made straight by now now something's turning into a disaster because people are getting inventive i feel like it's just giving people more time to come up with more uh ways of of doing something because something should have been straightened out by now so if your family if there's family members um, that didn't make something straight by now, something could be happening to them. And this is maybe why you may never see them again. This may be because some of your family members or someone in particular, it could be a Capricorn uh, that may wind up dying. And maybe that's why, you know what I mean? What kind of parent are you? For some of you, this is your parent, a mother possibly that's very dark and devilish energy. Tell me about this. What kind of parent uh, are you or were you really? Yeah, a karmic parent. This could definitely be a karmic mother of yours or something. Or a karmic sister or aunt. They could have been judging your parenting. And it's like, what kind of parent were you? King of Swords. There could This could be your father also was fooled into marrying your mother. Malice, yeah, George and Malice. First of all, if this George pops up, George, you need to sit the fuck down and know your place. Whoever this George is that keeps popping up, man. 
that this this person's very malicious malicious and I feel like some of your family members are even just as malicious anybody who's malicious if something wasn't made right intentionally because maybe they were hoping that you were gonna die these people may wind up losing their life something bad is going to happen for these people it's for some of you it, it's family members ma'am I love how forgiving you are, which is good because I have some news. So maybe you had to forgive these people. You're about to get some news about something. Or maybe your family got some news about some of your family members getting involved and wanting to see you gone. Coming in with a machete now. Yeah, something going to be handled. Your aunt was involved. I, somebody's aunt was involved in trying to possibly have their niece or their nephew murdered. Maybe this aunt of yours wasn't a very good parent. They're terrified of you. Damn, confidence right here. I mean, there, there's people who hate other people just because they're confident, man. Yep, I have a foul mouth, now what? So you could, you could curse a lot and shit like that, and I feel like you were judged a lot because of this. But there's a lot of people who are very malicious and had a lot of dirty secrets about shit that they did and shit that they wanted to do possibly to their own family member, so possibly for somebody to their own niece or nephew. And they're more focused on the fact that, um, so you had somebody in particular in your family, I'm telling you, it could be a Capricorn that judged you. They could have said, you have, you know, you have a foul mouth or they could have talked about your parenting. But like, I feel like this person was a bad parent and they could have a foul mouth too. Yeah, jealous. That's what it is. A pack of jealous people. Jealous and malicious people. Jealousy jealousy in some people is, is driving them to want to, like, kill somebody, man. This shit is unbelievable. Fucking unbelievable. If, if, if there are some people in your family that should have straightened something out by now and they didn't, I don't know whether it's because they were just hoping. This could be family members that even had a life insurance policy on you because they could have known that other people wanted you dead. So instead of making something right or something like that, they just kind of waited because they probably figured, well, somebody will kill this person. You know, it just feels real dark and disgusting with somebody's family. Abundance, yeah, I have some news for you. I feel like the news is that you're about to get some kind of money. There could have been a family member that has no soul that was trying to take this money from you. Or they could have been multiple of them. Tell me about this abundance. Tell me about this abundance. Somebody's jealous possibly because like shit you know you have shit or they wanted you to lose everything this is these are like people that really just wanted to see you lose everything and and possibly even your life tell me about abundance yeah look somebody's stressed they know you're going to get something i do feel like somebody was trying there could be arguing in your family because of this somebody's having a lot of mental conflict so whoever this person is yeah truth you're about to get this money Queen of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. But I feel like this could be somebody that's actually stressed out. But I feel like you may get some kind of news, possibly from a, a female investigator, about some kind of money. This could be a lawyer or something like that, that these people were trying to take from you. Or just make sure that you didn't get it. Landlord or property manager. Look at this shit, man. Why do you keep coming up, man? There, there's a property manager or a landlord for some of you that also knows that you're about to get this shit. And it's like th this person is also involved in trying to either kill you or stop you. And I don't know, man. You, you don't even like have any kind of relationship or friendship with some of these people. And they just don't want to see you get this shit. These, these are people that just don't deserve to be living I want to see what's up with this freaking landlord of yours or this property manager, whoever this punk is here or this bitch is. Because it feels like, um, like, who are you? Do we, like, I don't even know. For some of you, you may know this, this person personally. Your landlord may be a friend of yours or even a family member of yours. I guess it's going to be different for all of you. But for somebody, man, this motherfucker is so less, damn it. 
this person may want forgiveness now because something's about to come out about them as well. I think people took advantage of the fact that you were a forgiving person, that they thought you were weak. You don't have to forgive, you know. Um, not forgiving doesn't keep you stuck. Forgiving is for is for the other side. I don't personally believe, this is my opinion, when you forgive somebody, because I don't feel any different than when I, if I did or if I didn't. I don't. So for me, it's like, I mean, my life is still going to go on. Forgiveness is always always makes the other person on the other end feel better. That, that's my own personal. What is this? Stuck. Can't run. Can't hide. This is your property manager or your landlord. Don't know what they can. Go nowhere, damn it. And, and why? What, what do they want to run and hide from? Let's find out what they want to run and hide from. Like, what is it? Choking? Is that chalking? I remember we looked that up before, what chalking is. But I'm not going to look it up again. Um, tell me, like, what are they trying to run from? This property manager or this landlord of somebody. What are they trying to run from? <laughs> This could be the law, 1111, but a Taurus. This could be the government. They could be here illegally. That's judgment. That hierophant energy, though, is like, yeah, they're trying, because there was some kind of news that came out, or you could be a Taurus and you put this news out. The government could have gotten some kind of news about somebody having benefits illegally or, or if they're here if they're here illegally, obviously the benefits are also illegal. Uh, King of Sore Aries. This person is stuck. But, the, but this is somebody that was like fooling a lot of people as well. This is somebody who had a lot of people fooled at, at the kind of person that they were. target somebody made the wrong person their target and now somebody's worried now a worm right spineless no backbone slithering slimy very slimy person here aries taurus so i don't know if your property manager is one of these or this could be you breaking generational curses of people trying to steal your money with the abundance. So this could have happened lifetime after lifetime to you where you were supposed to get something or you had something and you had some people, family members, so for some of you it's people you don't even friggin' know that uh, stole this shit. And I feel like this is the lifetime where it doesn't happen anymore. Tell me about this target breaking generational curses. Tell me about this target or not. Hmm? These people are watching you. These people are spying on you. These people could have been sending people towards you to spy on you. Page of Swords. Yeah, look, people, look. Wheel of Fortune. Because you, you were supposed to have, like, you're destined for something. You could speak karma for these people into existence as well. But this is also looking like a target for me. And somebody targeted the wrong person. You could have been targeted every lifetime for something, whether it was for money on your life, like a life insurance policy, or whether it was to steal something that was supposed to go to you. And it's not happening. This is a generational curse that you broke. I don't feel like these people realize that it's like it's over. That this shit is over. You're, you're, based, you're fighting, you're shadow boxing. It, you're fighting yourselves. Patience and triumph. Yeah, I feel like you were very patient and probably more patient than most people would have been But because you, you maybe you know that you won this already You know like you see the bigger picture here and these people don't they just see shit for where it's really at But you know the bigger picture of this you know that you were supposed to break a generational curse possibly of family members even stealing inheritances and stuff like that and, and It's not happening now Disruption, trying to cause disruption in your life. Somebody's about to get some disruption in theirs. I feel like they've been though. This person is just very disruptive mentally. They're trying to disrupt this wheel of fortune, whatever this shit is from coming to you. And they can't do it. 16 could mean something. Counterpart, for some of you, your counterpart was involved with this. Tell me about this crown chakra. Look at somebody, they, they that is like severe overthinking, not sleeping. The only thing that they think about, they're probably part of their karma is that they can't stop watching you. That's what this is. Look at this. The part of someone's karma or these people's karma is that they can't stop watching you. It's like they're obsessed with you and they hate it. 
hit somebody somebody possibly has a hit on them because of this somebody may know that there's a hit on them and they don't they can't run or flee so they're like a sitting duck but i think that that's what they wanted for another person they wanted somebody else to be a sitting duck while they were targeted and then i think some of these people have a target on their back now they have a hit on them Clear that from the spirit do these people have hits on them now yeah because i feel like there's some people that are finding out that this property manager this landlord for you lied about a lot of shit man they possibly made you a target and that was never supposed to happen like somebody that did this this landlord whoever this person is for you created a whole bunch of bullshit and it's coming back to somebody now good they deserve it and anybody that's connected to them in this they can't handle the chaos that they created look they tried to throw chaos at you, cause disruption in your life, try to stop you from whatever this is. Just just, just being in someone's fucking business that you don't deserve to be in. And now they, they can't go nowhere. They're broke. They couldn't run if they wanted to. These people couldn't even buy a bus ticket. And now someone's stuck because now they are the target of some people. Uh-oh. Yeah, you chose peace. I feel like these people thought that you were weak or something, but nah, it's like you saw the bigger picture. You knew, like, okay, so, I mean, the old me probably would have just, like, you know, uh, came outside or just maybe it had gotten physical. There's an Aries, either you chose peace or you chose peace against an Aries, and now this person, there's some other people or somebody's going to handle something tonight, tonight and deep. Okay, tonight something's about to get deep. For these people that you chose peace and they still kept trying to cause disruption or disrupt you or, or, or just your privacy or your peace and shit like that. Something's about to happen tonight for somebody. Squatters. Mm -hmm. So your landlord or property manager that had these squatters, these people that don't pay or they just run in and out of places just to try to cause disruption. Something's coming. For somebody tonight it could be the squatters and the fucking property manager something's gonna happen with these people earth sign brother capricorn taurus virgo i don't know that if this is your earth sign brother or they could be the earth sign brother of one of these people something may happen to this person tell me tell me about um this earth sign brother capricorn taurus Virgo brother this could be a brother <laughs> Virgo why is the hermit here somebody's brother was being investigated look at this shit man look at this hatred go fuck yourselves Capricorn being watched there's a Capricorn or a Virgo that's being watched this, this person possibly is squatting or, or they're not paying where they are or, or they just walk in and out or something like that. This person is very mentally uh, unstable, we'll say. To, to, to make it nice, um, something's about to happen tonight. And it's going to be deep. <laughs> I guess that's why they put that there. And tell me more. Yeah, because they fuck with a divine being, huh? They don't have the kind of protection you do, man. They don't know how to defend themselves against whatever whatever this energy was, man. This disruptive, chaotic energy. It, it looks like it's messing with somebody's mental really bad. And I don't know if somebody was like a priest. This person could have been a Christian. Exorcist. Somebody may need to go to a friggin' priest, man. I feel like somebody was, was told multiple times, like, you, horrible. Look at this shit. It's horrible what these people are doing to somebody. It's just horrible. They, these people are just horrible people. Something gonna happen to somebody. It's so, somebody literally was, somebody help them. Somebody help them. Yeah, I'm telling you, man. And, and if nobody wants to do this, something's about to happen. I want to find out what's going to happen. They may not want me to get too specific because of, you know, we don't want to. It's like telling the end of the movie before the movie starts, right? We don't want to do that. If whoever the squatter is or the squatters are and the property manager or the landlord, something's about to happen tonight. Throat. 
Somebody may get, but someone put their hands around somebody's throat, man. Somebody may wind up, I don't know, I'm going to leave that to myself. I, I know what to say and what not to say. Damn it. Don't give out too much information to ease. <laughs> yeah. Leave some for a surprise, 2020. Oh, Lord, oh, Lord, oh, Lord. Tell me about this situation. Is in love with you. So somebody is actually in love with you. This could be somebody who's going to handle something is actually like in love with you. Hold on a second. I want to ask something personally here. Yeah. This is like a, a vigilante type, maybe gang member is actually in love with the person that was once a target. Somebody's fucked. There is a divine feminine that has that kind of energy where there's somebody that possibly was targeting her is in love with her now. And this person has some kind of ability to do some shit to these people. I don't feel like it's the law. I feel like somebody sees that the law is not stepping up enough and they're like, bitch, I'll handle some shit. I've been getting a lot of my old videos popping up on my other uh, YouTube account about the vigilante ones that I've that I've actually created. This was like months ago and shit. I realized a lot of my videos were predictions for what's happening later on. And a lot of that shit is happening now where there are people who uh, are very, very good at being covert. They're smarter than all of these people put together. Some of these people were like ex-Marines or ex-military or ex-cops and shit. And I remember making videos because I kept getting vigilante movies popping up. Like the universe was telling me, like, just, you know, if the law ain't going to do the shit, there's going to be some people that will. And these are people that are really good with not getting caught. I picked up in a, in a dream the other day that there's some people that hired their own hitman for somebody because they see that something's not stopping or something's not changing. I did not come this far to be pushed back. Somebody may wind up losing their life tonight this group believes you so there's a I'm telling you there's a group of people who the property manager or your landlord created a whole bunch of shit and they're realizing that they were fooled okay and there's people in this group that are pissed off because they wasted a lot of their time a lot of them lost some things like some of these people got locked up and shit like that or they're just having bad things happen to them because they came for the wrong person now your property manager or this landlord and whoever the squatters were are they are the targets now of somebody a group mission look at that shit some this is their mission now i feel like there's some people where their mission is to handle these people for you do you realize it's theft though irs somebody could be getting exposed for a uh, fraud tell me about do you realize it's theft though Leo, do you realize it's theft 2323? There's a Leo that's getting exposed for being a thief. This, this could be your property manager. They could be exposed for stealing from the company. Yeah, Aries and Leo. Do you realize, do, two of these people, I feel like, do you guys realize it's theft? They could be getting exposed for stealing something, and there's a group of people that aren't happy with this. There could be some people that lied and said that you stole something. This could have been like drugs or like whatever this was, but I feel like they put the focus on someone else to make someone else a target, and this, this group of people doesn't believe them anymore. Uh-oh. Somebody's sitting duck now, huh? Look, somebody's world's about to get turned upside down. That's spinned, right? Uh, something's coming full circle for a Leo and an Aries specifically and it's going to happen something's going to happen tonight I don't know if it's going to be for both of these people but it may happen to one and then somebody's going to realize that you're not to be fucked with tell me about this please all of these people were in on it and they're all going down so it's it's an Aries and a Leo that may be going down tonight Keep your Bluetooth off because they're still trying to hack your phone so they, they don't know when to fucking stop, man. They, these, these are people where they're like the wind-up toys and then they go into the wall and their legs keep on going. Like, they're, they're not... They, you, these are the types of people that have a real hard time saying that they lost against something. 
You've been losing your whole entire life. There's no win when you're like this. You've been a loser your whole life. You know, let, let, we're going to tell you the truth. Somebody needs to tell these people. You've been a loser for most of your life when you're like this. The, um, someone's going to realize that this shit wasn't worth it, man, because something about to happen. You're brave, and they don't know that. They can't stand the fact that somebody's not afraid of them, that they're not intimidated by them. God forbid you're a friggin'. You must be a female that is in love with you. I feel like there's some people in this group that are like, they, they adore you. They admire you because of your, your bravery against these people. It's going through a lot, and they need the one person that they betrayed. Valid. Something is valid. You validated yourself by doing something. There's something that you did where damn and these people are not tell me about this you're brave and they don't know anything about this because these are cowards uh, especially these two people here uh, devil a uh, Capricorn so you could be brave or you're just brave against devil energy like you're not afraid of darkness you're not afraid of dark people you don't you don't get scared you don't get intimidated Capricorn could be going through a lot and they need the one person. Yeah, this is again a cap. Look at this shit, man. This is that same shit. Truth. There's a Capricorn specifically that I feel like some you were good to. This could be that female. Or for somebody listening, this could be an ex of yours or something like that. That now is going through a bunch of shit and they could have left you or cheated on you or broke your fucking heart for, for somebody that wasn't worth it. And now, since they've been with that person, their whole life got fucking exploded. It's in shambles. And now, I feel like if you were this person's wife or husband, whatever this was, you were the one person that kept this person as much together as they could have ever been in their life. And now, somebody somebody cheated on you or left you or didn't know how to protect you or, or you know, whatever it was. And now, this is what they're going through. Can't be too cautious with the caution tape. There may be caution tape for some shit, man. There may be some kind of crime scene. Yeah, you could be the wife of this person. Taurus or Libra. But I, I feel like um, you were the only person, or, or this is you, a divine feminine, that would have been the only loyal person and that these people ever came across. And instead of giving you a chance to like be, be a friend with you, there, there's people that, that decided to just completely try to destroy you. You would have been the one person that would have stood by these people's side, loyal, to a fault, probably. These are just people that are, they're just so broken and, and they're so, they're already too far gone, man. Whatever happens, there's a group of people that matter, that believe you, Divine Feminine. And that, that's crucial in this situation. Waiting for people to cross that line. So somebody crossed the line a while ago. And this is going to be, this is a long time coming for some people, man. This, this, this should have happened. Are these more blank cards? That's another one. Oh, good. Thank you. Yeah, these people are losing and losing and losing and losing. Did not commit suicide. What happened? Did somebody say that you, you were going to commit suicide? Or did this happen for another person? Hold on a second. Clear that from me, spirit. Was this them saying a divine feminine committed suicide? Somebody was trying to facilitate your death by saying that you committed suicide, but I feel like you're still here, bitch. Clear that from me, spirit. Is this somebody else, like a, a case or something? No, this is you, divine feminine. Some of these people, Jesus Christ, man, you fucking people are something else. You, you are the ugliest inside and some of you on the outside people ever to walk this planet. Look, Capricorn, again, I feel like there was a Capricorn that was going to try and, and say that you committed suicide or something like that. Bitch, you, maybe you should do that shit, motherfucker. Maybe that's what you need to do. Somebody may wind up, man, killing themselves. Tell me about this, with this, did, uh, did not commit suicide. Yeah, somebody's under, ooh, wait. Judgment. I'm telling you, man, somebody may wind up wanting to take their own life because the shit's going to get real heavy. It's already heavy, but a lot of these people are comfortable in that type of energy. It's about to get real uncomfortable for somebody. There's a Capricorn, no doubt, that has experienced a lot of karma right now. Yep, they don't want to stop, right? So somebody's like, well, we're going to stop you then. 
you you could have said or this person was warned by the universe like the shit's gonna get worse and they were like nah you better stop no nope, mm -mm, okay all right there could be a couple here that's bound to each other with bullshit and drugs and, and alcohol and and they're so codependent on each other and the fact that they're codependent on each other is like mm, it's destroying both of these people there's that leo again leo and capricorn look at what's this king of swords Somebody didn't want to believe that there was some kind of uh, King of Swords energy. I feel like somebody that would actually stand up and do something for you. Somebody's about to be proven wrong. If you, I, I tell me about this King of Swords. What's this? Three different people. There could have been three people involved in this. These these King of Swords with the devil though these are so, these are sociopathic, narcopathic males. There could have been three of them involved in something. These people have a lot of passion, but it's to hurt people. Tell me more about this. And now they're fans of yours too. These same dudes are fans of you, Divine Feminine, and they hate it. I'm telling you, they can't stand the fact that they can't stop watching you. They're obsessed with you, and it's ruining their life. It's ruining their relationships, their marriages. You are the most moderately funny person I know. So this, these people are <sighs> mediocre, content with mediocrity. These people at one point could have been celebrating and shit, and I don't feel like they're happy anymore. Some, somebody thought some shit was funny. I feel like the, they're about to be they're about to be shown just how funny somebody else can be. You're faster than an entire bag of goldfish. Yeah, so it's it's you know goldfish have the lowest IQ on the planet. So these people, um, these I'm sorry, these are just people who are not real smart, man. They're not very educated. I don't really feel like these people focused on learning a lot of stuff because they were so in this devil energy that it just it's like they let their brains go. And the fact that they let their brains go, it's like they don't even have critical thinking at this point. They're very impulsive, very like you can't tell me, and, and somebody's about to be shown surveillance. Peekaboo, motherfuckers. They see you. Hmm? Did this in the past. So somebody could have done this in the past where they killed people and they lied and said that they committed suicide. And they're getting exposed for this shit. It, and it didn't work with you. There's a fucking divine feminine where she was like, or, you know, the universe was like, not this one. Not this one. Maybe you said it because you have control of whether you're breathing or not. There's no motherfucker on this planet. I don't care who you are. I don't care. That has the right to say whether you die or live. You're a nobody. These are these types of dudes that did this. All of these dudes like this are experiencing horrible, horrible judgment because of this. Somebody murdered, it could be a Capricorn, murdered some pe some women in the past and could have lied and said that they committed suicide. Nothing crazy, just a normal Saturday night. So this is just a normal, this, this person's nuts. This is just a normal day for this person. Like, to, for them to say that while I said that make, tells me that this person should have been locked up a long, long time ago. And there could have possibly been three people that, that would have still been alive. There could be somebody there in a relationship with, man, that is just refusing to believe that this person is who they are. A disgusting phase. Like, you're disgusting for staying with this person. This person is disgusting. This could be two people who did this together, though. They could both be fucking disgusting, this couple. Respect, they have no choice but to respect you. See, you have self-respect. There could be a female that's actually in a relationship with this dark-ass person that has no self-respect. And that's why. This person cheats and everything, man. I feel like this person flirts and he even talks to her like a piece of trash and... And there's a big difference here. Some, some. I feel like there's somebody who just doesn't want to. I don't know, man. I. There, there's a female here. That has zero respect for herself, and it shows because of who she's with. 
and how how is she like their life i don't know what happened like, tell me tell me where they're at allison so allison either they're being forced to respect you allison or allison is being forced to respect this divine feminine is Allison in this situation, this particular situation, uh, a good person? No. So there's an Allison. Put that for me, Spirit. Is this that judge, Allison, or a judge? Yeah, somebody, something's coming for that one, too. So there was a there's a woman named Allison that was also connected to these people and lying and saying that people lost their life from committing suicide when really, what was the reason? What was the reason that these people died? I'm guessing it's money. But what... Look, look, just vengeful. Thirty-five, thirty-five. This could have been people that um, that they just wanted to. This is a jealous female, though. Whoever this Allison is, she's a very jealous bitch, man. But this could be people where it's like they wanted them gone because they could have known things or something like that. You know what I mean? Like, like it feels like there's a judge that had dark dudes, like piece of shit dudes, handle their dirty work. Right. Okay. This could be somebody to the right of you, or you're. They're just saying right. Like she's a jealous bitch, and she used. Um, she's very has no self respect. Doesn't like the fact that there's a female on the other end that does respect her. She clearly doesn't have respect for other women because I feel like this fucking person, Allison, is a is a judicial is in the judicial system, and she could have possibly used these toxic ass narcissistic sociopaths to do her dirty work. She's being surveilled. Peekaboo. Tell me more about this, please. Look, because someone's not even happy, man, with their relationship. Look at this shit. Somebody's unhappy and stressed out about the relationship that they're in. And then it's, you know, come on. This is a karmic female, no doubt. There could be two people right now, though. This could be this couple is worried because they know they're under surveillance. They know their home is under surveillance. Why are these two people stressed out? Uh, there could be somebody that this person's in a relationship with where I don't know if you haven't believed it yet. Somebody's about to be shown and it's about to be proven that the motherfucker you're in a relationship with has done this shit in the past. I don't want to throw my whole life away. Somebody already did that. They threw their whole life away to be with a freaking monster. Yeah, it's karmic. It's a karmic relationship, man. Look at this shit. A lion sack of shit. These could be the two people that were spying on you. This could have been two people where it came to spy on another person. And the female in this relationship, in the midst of spying, found out that this dude is a murderer. Or that he has done this in the past to other women. And, and she's still with this dude, man. <laughs> it shows the le a constantly breaking her heart. Like, this person, I don't know, man. It just, it feels like, when did you lose all of your self-respect? All of it. There's none there. Look, this dude got into karmic relationships with women, killed them. Look, look, asked out. This could be a cop, a can, or there's a cancer here. This, this, this dude causes death and destruction everywhere he goes. Every time he gets into a relationship, man, uh, he could be this karmic female bitch ass energy, right? And everything dies around them. They, they, people lose money, they lose family, they lose their self respect, they lose their want to get up out of bed. He's a soul sucker. He's an energy vampire. He's a dream killer, man. This is the type of person that only gets with women to destroy them. This is a, a man that that has a, despises women. He despises them. The only reason this person partners up with women is to destroy them. There is no up. That, that's his motive. That he'll never be able to love a woman ever because he hates them. And there's somebody who's actually with this person that just refuses to believe this shit, man. It's embarrassing. It's an embarrassment. Murderers. Look. Murderers. This could be your property manager and this squatter. Or these squatters are getting exposed for being murderers. Projecting their pain and suffering onto you. So either he's doing this to the girl that he's with. They could be projecting this on their own wives or their girlfriends and shit. And then because they don't like it, they project it on other women that don't have these types of relationships. This is how toxic this gets. These dudes put all of their pain and suffering onto the women that they're with because they fucking don't like women. The property manager or this landlord and this other person are both misogynists. They hate women. I can't stress that enough. They hate them. So when they're with women, they hate them secretly too, but they need them for something. They always, they're codependent on a woman. And they can't stand the fact that they know it's true. 
And so now they, they make these uh, women's lives miserable. And then the second that these women see another woman that won't allow that, they automatically hate that woman. And it's like, you had the choice to be like this too. What, what are you mad at these women for? You should be standing up for yourself. You should be respecting yourself. A junior, there could be, this person could even have a son who's turning out just like him, or she could actually have a daughter named after her. And it's like, is she going to take, this is, this is just, this is just, I don't even know what to say. This is like fucking, you're getting mad at the wrong person. Everybody in this situation refuses to take accountability that you are the reason you're where you're at. You allowed these people to treat you like this. For the women connected to these dudes, you allowed them to take your fucking self-respect and your dignity. And now you hate other women that didn't allow this shit. And for you dudes, you hate the same type of woman. Because you don't want your women to be happy and to go far in life. You intentionally hold these women back. Because you don't like them. You're married and you're dating men that fucking hate you. They're never going to tell you this, but I feel like it shows every single day. They don't need to say it. These are the types of dudes where for once their actions speak louder than words. And these women don't want to admit it. They got no money. There's no doubt they are out of the will. So somebody's about to get the will money and somebody else is about to get knocked off of the will. I feel like it's the divine feminine. I feel like it's the one that everybody was coming for. You stayed a good person. You chose peace and these people chose violence and disruption and just bullshit. So now you're going to be getting some kind of will money and these people are going to be getting time. A lot of these people are going to be getting time. It's biggest loser time. It's biggest loser time. 4141. Somebody doesn't want to admit they're what a fucking loser, man. It, they don't. Because I feel like they know it reflects poorly on them. So they get mad. Like there's there's so many people that are just angry at strong women. It's men and women. What what are you talking about? For the men, go fuck yourselves, okay? I got nothing else to say about that. You're just you're just toxic. For the women, were you always like this or did you start to get like this since you've been with this motherfucker, this loser? When you date a loser and a piece of shit long enough, you will become in fact a loser and a piece of shit. You become the company that you keep. You can only blame yourself. I know you want to point the finger at another woman. That other woman was supposed to actually show you what a real woman is supposed to act like and be like and feel about themselves. And instead, a lot of these women decided to protect these toxic dudes who want you gone too. And you're making absolute fucking fools of yourselves on a daily basis. Fucking name, bitch. That could be some of the attitudes. Like, oh, you fucking bitch. You can call this divine feminine a fucking bitch all you want. But you know damn right well that if you could go back in time and you could act this way that she does to these dudes who are treating you like trash, you would. And you know you would. If you could rewind this shit and say, damn, now I've seen how a real woman protects herself or defends herself. When my piece of shit fucking dude or husband got in their face, I never seen somebody talk to this motherfucker like that. If I had done that, don't tell me that you wouldn't do shit differently. Property manager, biggest loser time. You're a loser, bro. Transformation. Uh, they seen that you transformed into something else and they de-transformed, I guess. You know what I mean? They went backwards and shit. Some of these like women, um, they used to be like you, Divine Feminine, how you are now. And they don't do that anymore. They gave their life over to a man that doesn't even like them as a person. Five. There could be five of them. A Ford, a property manager. Either you drive a Ford or this motherfucker does. Protect projecting all their pain and suffering onto another person. We don't accept that shit. You take that shit. You eat it. You put yourself there. Stepmother. Somebody's stepmother. I don't know what the fuck this is, man. Somebody's stepmother um, could be... Let me find out about the stepmother. Tell me about the stepmother. Cancer Pisces Scorpio. What's up with this Cancer Pisces Scorpio female here? This could be somebody's stepmother. Like you, you're even the stepmother to somebody's kids. And they still don't respect you, you know? Like, 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 do you have anything left? Do you even have a piece of you left anymore? 
people are watching. Yeah, people are watching this property manager or these people that are connected to this person. I feel like there's somebody um, that's seeing you stand your ground against an entire community also. You could be a divine feminine. You could be a water sign or you're just a loving person, but you stand up for yourself. That's what somebody, somebody, there's a stepmother that's seeing that there's a woman, okay? It doesn't matter what your sign is, that you're a very loving person. But don't take that fucking kindness for weakness kind of shit. Maybe you're showing women in your in your community, Divine Feminine, how you can actually stand up for yourself without getting thuggish, you know, or embarrassing yourself. Maybe you showed some women what it's like to stand up and stand your goddamn ground against a whole bunch of people. I feel like there are some women that you change and there's other women that are still taking shit out on you. You helped a lot of women find balance in their lives and shit. Going through a dark time. Possibly with some karmic masculines and shit that they were getting breadcrumbed with. I feel like you taught these females how to put themselves first and how to like put walls up and boundaries up. So that's amazing. But there's other women though that are connected to some of the lowest, darkest pieces of shit dudes that are so mad at you because they don't know, they think they don't know how to do it. You know what I mean? So I guess it's a, there's a difference. There's, there's women who you helped. And now they'll never let dudes, dudes treat them like this again. And it's because of you, Divine Feminine. And then there's other women here who just, nope, that's why the Four of Cups, nope. You can't tell me I'm going to stand by my man. Well, you stand by your man, you're going to go down with them too. That's just how it goes. There is no fucking other way. There's some women that see you as a complete blessing, Divine Feminine. And there's other women who hate you because they're still around these dudes. And they're picking up on their energy. They're, they're, they're like um, mirroring how these dudes feel about you and they don't even realize it. I'll bet when these women are by themselves and, and they would be around you, you would change their life. But the second that these dudes come back around them and they start flapping their fucking little bitch jaws about you, Divine Feminine, now it makes, these are the types of dudes that will do this. They'll make sure that their wives and their girlfriends hate you because if they even see them like looking at you and maybe changing a little bit, what they'll do is they'll give you a compliment even though they hate you too to make the wife or the girlfriend pissed off. And now the girlfriend gets pissed off at you all over again because they can feel that someone's looking at you like, damn, man, like, and they don't want that. It's sick. These are the kind of dudes that are very immature. Page of Wands, all they care about is sex. That's it. You could have a social media platform where some of these women are watching you and you're like, that's the fucking bitch I want to be like. And there's other women who... It was as long as they're with these dudes, man. See, the only reason that these other women did this is because they put boundaries up with those karmic masculines. And that's why. You can't have one in your life and then be like this. These people, these dudes will suck the life out of you. They will suck everything out of you because that is what they are created to do. These types of men are lessons for women and vice versa. They are a lesson for you. To stand your ground, don't ever put yourself fucking second. Don't ever put another person before you. Don't sell your soul. You know what I mean? It's a, it's a lesson. And there's women who learn this, and it's because they won't deal with these dudes anymore. Then there's some other females here who refuse to leave. They refuse to, like, I don't know what's going on here. And that's why they still don't like you, because they still have this horrible influence in their life. It's the cancer in their life. These dudes are like a fucking cancer. And for you dudes that go through this, these females are like a fucking cancer in your lives. And this shit happens reversed as well. But I'm, I'm picking up on that as dudes. You know what I mean? I feel like a lot of these people are seeing that you're very skilled and talented. You, maybe one of your skills and talents is being able to defend and protect. This could be something that comes naturally to you that you don't even realize is how, how difficult this could be for other women. Maybe that, I'm, 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 you know, I want to give the benefit of the doubt, but it's real hard with, with some people. They make it real difficult for me. But there could be a situation where you're just really, it's easy for you to stand up and defend yourself. And it may not be so easy for these women. I feel like it's easier for these women, for some of them that won't change, to stand up against you for some reason. And here you are standing like, bitch, you can stand up against me all you want, but I'll stand up against the whole world. And I don't feel like these women have ever had a woman in their life like that. And this is why you were placed in these women's lives so that you can like change them and change their perspective on themselves and their self-worth. There's women who did it. Congratulations, because your lives are going to change for the better. And there's women who didn't and they stayed hating and being jealous because they're around a dude that is actually jealous of fucking women. I'm out. Nowhere.